Minister of Police Nkosinati Ntlego has launched a campaign against stolen goods in Pumalanga. The focus of the campaign is to remove stolen goods from the market and to unite society in an effort to reduce the crime. Figures released by the South African Police Service shows that an increase in residential robberies from 17,950 to 19,284 between April 2013 to March 2014, representing an increase of 7.4 percent. A new law to curb the selling of stolen goods was introduced in 2012. The act intends to regulate the business of dealers in second-hand goods and pawnbrokers to combat trade in stolen goods. It also aims to promote ethical standards in the trade of second-hand goods. If you have the prevalence of stolen goods, that tends to also germinate negative tendencies in society. You will also have conflict in societies and so forth. I'm sure in certain areas you would have come across this thing, a way... A, a you know a, a, you know vigilantism just you know a props up precisely because a, somebody would have been sus would have been suspected to have stolen. Smuggling of stolen goods is also a thorny issue. The strategy that we have developed and working on, you know, during this festive season and beyond is the question of, exactly the question of border management, which must also look into the question of stolen items being smuggled across, smuggled across the borders and so forth. To curb the practice, Police Minister Natin Kleko said government entities need to work together. In that, you need a collaborative effort between the South African Police Service, the South African National Defence Force, a Home Affairs and other state entities, of course in the whole question of border management. Buying stolen goods is a crime on its own.